Okay, so first I'm going to start off with my Ultra Repair Cream. It's a perfect moisturizer and you definitely want your face to be moisturized for this look because we're going to be using foundation, concealer, and powder and you don't want to look cakey. And it just makes your skin look really, really hydrated and glowy. So I'm just applying that on my face. Then taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk, I'm just going to put this on both of my eyelids just for um, a primer and a base. I feel like it works really well for this look and it makes the colors from the eyeshadow stand out so much it really makes them true to their color so I'm just applying that on my eyelids then I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and I love this palette it's so versatile I'm going to be taking the color Half Baked and applying it in my crease with a fluffy brush. And I'm kind of working backwards with this look. I'm doing my crease and working downwards towards my lid. I feel like the other way, it really makes the colors blend all together and it just kind of mushes together. You don't really see any definition. So I'm starting backwards for this look and I'm just going to be doing that to both of my eyes. And Half Baked is such a beautiful color. It's so pretty and shimmery and I just love it. So I'm just going to be applying that into my crease. Then I'm going to be taking the color Snake Bite and I'm going to be applying this with the same brush and I'm going to be applying it a little bit under my crease and it's just going to give a really pretty gradient effect once we get on with the eye look. And this color again is really shimmery and that's the look Selena Gomez had in her music video so this palette is like perfect if you're trying to achieve that look. And like I said, I'm just going to be applying it in my crease, so I'm just doing it to that eye as well. And if you can notice, I'm taking my eyeshadow a little bit farther into my eye, kind of towards my nose. In her music video, I noticed her eyeshadow was like that, so I'm just trying to achieve her look. Then I'm going to be taking the color Booty Call, which is a really pretty shimmery white eyeshadow from the Naked 2 palette. And just apply it underneath my brow bone for a highlight, because this is a really pretty not too shimmery color and I just feel like it worked really well with the look so I'm just going to be applying that under my eyebrow then I'm going to be taking the color busted and I'm just going to be applying this with just a small eyeshadow brush and this is just a really pretty dusty brown purpley color and I'm just going to be applying that on the outer half of my eye and it's just really going to give a grungy kind of seamless um, kind of messy look that's kind of what she had in her video and I'm not going to be applying it any further than the outer corner of my eye then I'm going to be taking the color blackout and this is the perfect black color for this look because in the outer corner of her eye she had this really deep dark matte black color so I'm applying that on the top of my lid and creating sort of like a wing and then I'm applying it underneath my eyelashes as well and it literally completed the look I was so pleased with this Then I'm going to be taking the color Verve, which is a really pretty shimmery silver color. And I'm just going to be applying that in the inner corner of my eye just to really define my inner corners and really make me look awake and just make the whole look come together. I feel like it like literally completed the look and I just said like like a million times, but whatever. I'm um, just putting that in the inner corner of my eye and I really like it. Then I forgot to film what eyeliner I used, but I used the, main, or the Wet n Wild mega liner and it's the eyeliner that I always use and I'm going to be doing a pretty dramatic wing for this look because in this video Selena Gomez had a whole bunch of dramatic eye wing liner and eyeshadow so I just decided I'm going to go for it and do it pretty dramatic and I love winged eyeliner to begin with so I'm just going to be doing that on both of my eyes and it really just takes practice with this there's no certain technique because some days my eyeliner looks really good and then other days it's just no Then I'm going to fill in my brows with my Too Faced Matte Eye Palette and I'm going to be using the color Chinchilla. It's a really pretty matte brown color and it's the perfect color for my eyebrows. It's not too dark and it's not too light and it just works perfectly for me. And I'm not going to be doing too much with them. I'm really just filling in the sparse areas because in this video I don't even think Selena Gomez's brows were filled in. They were just kind of there because the eyes were so dramatic. So I'm just kind of filling them in just to give them a little bit of definition. 
thin for mascara. She was not wearing false lashes, lashes, thank God. So I'm using the CoverGirl Lash Perfection Mascara. I recently purchased this and I have been obsessed with it. I'm applying it on the backs of my lashes and the fronts of them so they really look dramatic and this mascara is amazing. You guys should definitely try it. Moving on to the face, I'm going to be applying my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I'm in the shade 1.0 and I'm just going to be applying this with my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki F80 which is my favorite foundation brush. And yes, this foundation is a tad bit too light for me because I have been out in the sun but I'll make it work. And I'm just going to be buffing that all over my skin. I didn't really need as much as I put on my brush so I kind of had to blend it in. Um, I just really wanted my skin to be one, one shade. I didn't really want full coverage. So I'm just going to be applying that all over my face to really get an even coverage and just look natural and beautiful like Selena Gomez. Then I'm going to be taking my CoverGirl Olay Simply Ageless Eye Concealer in the shade 210. I'm just going to be applying this underneath my eyes to really brighten them up and just make them look more awake. And to basically look airbrushed and perfect like Selena Gomez because her skin is porcelain. It's crazy. Then I'm just taking a matte white eyeshadow and applying it underneath my eyes to set my concealer. I found that this works really well if you don't want to look too cakey. It just kind of sets everything and brightens everything up. For powder, I'm using my Studio Fix Matte Powder and it's a powder foundation. Basically just to make me look even more flawless and I'm in the shade NC20. I'm just going to be applying this with a big fluffy Real Techniques brush and I'm not going to be applying too much. Just really want to set my foundation so that's what I'm doing. Then I noticed in her video her skin was very natural, very matte, so I went with the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I totally just stuttered. And I'm just going to be taking that on a Real Techniques contour brush and really make it not too contoured, but just to the point where you know that I have some type of cheekbone. And I'm just going to be applying that on my temples as well. And I'm going to be taking my blush from Tarte in the color Exposed. And in the video, she, I don't think she was wearing blush, but I just couldn't do a look without blush. So I'm taking this really natural color. It's almost brown, kind of. So I felt like it went really well with this eye makeup because the eyes are so dramatic. You don't want like a bright pink blush. So I'm just going to be applying that with a Real Techniques blush brush. And for the most exciting part, it is the lips. I'm going to be taking the Maybelline New Vivids lipstick. This is in the color Shocking Coral, and it is the most beautiful lipstick I think I own. And it's really inexpensive. If you guys haven't tried them, you need to go to the drugstore and get them, like, right now. So I'm just going to be applying that on my lips, and then I'm going to be applying an e.l.f. lip gloss because, as you can tell, this lipstick is a little bit too pink, and her lips in the music video were basically like an orangey red color. And since I didn't have that color, I kind of had to make do with what I had. So I'm just going to be applying this lipstick, and then you will see the lip gloss that I'm going to use. So for lip gloss, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Super Glossy Lip Shine, and this came in like a set I got for Christmas. Um, I believe my sisters got it at Target for me, but any red lip gloss will do, and I'm just going to be applying it overneath the Shocking Coral just to kind of make my lips look a little bit more red and orange tint how hers, how hers was in the video. Then I'm just cleaning up the edges with some concealer to make my lips look perfect. And that's it for the makeup look, and now I'm going to go on to hair because her hair was insane. I sprayed my hair with my macadamia healing oil spray just so I would have some type of protectant on my hair. And basically I, I applied hair extensions and then just curled random pieces of my hair. It's really not hard at all. There's no set rhythm to it. I just 
curled pieces and then I'm going to be teasing them to make them look kind of messy and grungy which is how her hair was in the video so I sped up this video because it's very repetitive. So after that you are done with this is the completed look for the come and get it music video by Selena Gomez. This dress, I'm sorry I do not know where it's from, I borrowed it from my sister for this video. Um, you can find any black lace shirt if you're trying to achieve the look. And I hope you guys like this and I will talk to you later. Bye!